I'm blown away. I'm blown away. I want to make three very brief points. First, I want to tell you how meaningful this award is to me. When Sarah called me and told me that I'd be winning this award, it really stopped me in my tracks. Uh, it just struck me in a way that I really can't explain. And then she told me that the award would be dedicated this year for the first time to Jim Coleman, and I was speechless. You have to understand, I grew up in a household where most of the stories we told around the dinner table were trial lawyer war stories. And so in the 70s and 80s, I knew the names of the luminaries in the Dallas bar just like I knew the names of the Dallas Cowboys. I thought about those people the same way I thought about my trading cards that I had up in my bedroom. And let me tell you, if there was a tra trading card for Dallas lawyers, Jim Coleman's card would be the card you would never trade. You would hold on to that card. That would be the Roger Staubach of your trading card collection. And so to be the recipient tonight, I do so in honor of Jim, and I do so in honor of those who follow his example. And to be mentioned in the same breath with him is one of the greatest professional honors that I've ever had. That's point number one. Point number two, let me tell you about the importance, I think, of what the award stands for. And Jennifer talked about this. At AT&T, we do have a saying. It's two is one, one is none. And we borrow that phrase from our heroes in the military. When a military unit goes out on operations at night, they categorize, they inventory their equipment. And for any piece of equipment that's deemed to be mission critical, they determine, I'm going to take two of those. Because for any mission critical piece of equipment, you have to assume that one may fail and you better have a backup. Well, my belief is that as lawyers, what we do is always mission critical. It's mission critical to our clients. It's mission critical to the profession. And as a result, it's something that you can't do alone. Two is one, one is none. You must do it with someone else. And so the concept of her champion, two is one, one is none, is all about making a connection. It's all about you can't do the, the full measure of what you're meant to do as a lawyer without reaching out to somebody else and making a connection and being stronger as a result of that connection. That, to me, is what her champion is all, is all about. And the third and final point I want to make is I want to talk to you about how much I appreciate what you do here for the organization and the mission that the organization stands for. I think we all in this room realize that there are generations of lawyers who look to this organization to improve the profession for those that follow us. There are many people who are counting on us to do this work and to do it well. I'll tell you about one of them. One of them is my fifth grade daughter. Kate McAtee is her mother's daughter. Christy and I have two beautiful children, David and Kate. Kate's the younger. She's in fifth grade now. And if we're lucky, no one will mess up her cross-examination technique between now and when she's 22 years old. If she could freeze it right now, we'll be in great shape. I'll give you an example. Just a couple months ago, she asked me a question, and it's one I really didn't want to answer. So I just said, gosh, Kate, that's such a good question. That's the type of question a lawyer would ask. I'm always trying to encourage her to talk about the legal profession. And she looked at me very coolly, and she just said in the most pleasant voice, she said, well, I don't know about that, but it's a question I would ask, and it's a question I'd like an answer to. <laughs> My case in point. Well, let me tell you, Kate McAtee is depending upon this group and others like us to make sure the profession reflects all the ideals that we hold so dear. She's depending upon us to make sure the pro profession embraces the diversity that we have among us, that it embraces the idea of reaching out and making a connection with someone else and holding someone up, pushing them into a leadership position, and then holding your hand on their back to support them while you're doing it. That's the mission of this organization, and that's why I want to say thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for what you do, thank you for the award, and thank you for the opportunity to be here tonight. Appreciate it.